got to do some um, maintenance around the house, well, around the gardens actually outside. So we've got some molehills to uh, deal with, and hopefully, if this lawn is um, dry enough, I need to cut the lawn. I need to cut, and we've got Stormy to help here. Look, Stormy's come out to help. Um, so it's sort of general tidying up, uh, dealing with the molehills, cutting the lawn, and then doing some um, wood sorting for for the winter. So we'll just we'll just film some of that stuff and show you what we have to do. The significant um, advantages of having all those mole is they can help us with some nice broken up soil to lay before the compost in our pot. And we'll dump all this in, in there now to help us along. Okay, so that's a start. We just need to put um our compost on top of that um, but nothing now we're in the winter coming up to the winter season we're going to leave that uh, until next spring before we plant it out or before Anna plants it out so she's just asked if we can well, we're at here if we can just clear all the the plant pots uh, and the little trees there and the, and also the ones around poolside so we need to pop those into we just need to pop those plants into the conservatory or the polytunnel so that's my next job. Okay, that's the patio cleared. I've just trimmed the edges to this. I'm just going to give that a quick mow. And then we've got to mow the, the rest of the garden. But all the plants are now in and sowed away. So it's now over to Anna's intensive care to do something with those um, in the winter. That's not really my area of expertise, but hopefully she'll be able to look after those and know what to do with them. So, let's get to cutting some lawns. So I've um, jet washed all of the, the patio down. Um, just to let you know, have an insight into the future, uh, this is the slab which I've poured for the bar. So we're gonna have a poolside, ignore this uh, frame, that won't be here, but that's kind of gonna be the footprint of the bar area and then a seating area and some sort of covered um, covering over the top. I'm not sure whether we're gonna do a roof extension or trellising. But in the summer that'd be lovely so uh, you can come up and have a drink maybe we'll have a fire pit here and then all this will be planted out so it'd be quite nice so that's a job to do this winter i'm hopefully going to get a start on that the slabs laid so it's just a case of going block work on this side that side and this side and then maybe a cement bar top um, or something that we find on the way in a, in a re reclamation area or a second hand shop for the bar counter um, and a, and a roof and then of course we've got the uh, pergola coming out from the from the cottage here landing the uprights here going over the top so that's that bit to do and then we've got this beautiful um it's uh, an old 
sort of water fountain type thing. There's a tap which you can put in the top. And then there's a bowl bit which sits here at the bottom, sort of curves around. It's actually packed up. I don't want to unpack it yet, but you can just see it in there, it's curved. And I thought what we'd do is just around here, look. I thought we could put something here as a feature. So this will be under the pergola when the pergola is built. We could put it there. So what I thought is maybe a block, maybe make out of block and stone a base, the same profile as that semicircular bottom, and then put the fountain on top of that, bond it into the wall, and then have a solar pump, have, have the base of it as a tank, and basically have a constant recirculation of water, um, just gently, gently trickling out of the tap, going back into the, the sump, and then back up into the tap so we've got that sound of water which is lovely so that's a couple of plans we've got to do the the railings around the deck that we built um got to sort the pond out which is a bit of an un unfortunate thing for us at the moment with the weeds got all the pathways to redo so quite a bit to do in the garden but a job which has been troubling me for some time hello geese hello thank you just let them say hello is look at this mess here. This is terrible. Um, so this is seasoned firewood. That's got to go around the side. This I've got to chop up uh, to be burnt. That's the old decking. Um, so I've denailed most of it, but there's a load there that still needs to be done. This whole area needs to be tidied up. So it's absolutely bitter cold, but I do need to get on with that. So the first thing I need to do is build myself a sawhorse, which I haven't got. So I'm going to do that now so at least we've got a stable platform to cut the logs on okay so to make this uh, sawhorse for the logs i've got this old timber here which if you remember <clears throat> these were the off cuts from the framing for the barn door so originally these were three meter long you can see here there's a, a joint there which i didn't use in the end so we've got these off cuts. I'd rather use these than have to cut into fresh timber because timber is so expensive. But unfortunately, we've got some good sizes. I mean, these would be ideal if they were all that size. Um, and they slowly get smaller. So I think what I'm going to need to do, I think if I cut them all down to the height of the smallest ones, they're going to be too small. So I think we're going to make them... I think we're going to make them this sort of use these middle ones, cut those ones down and put these at either end. It's kind of, um, these are kind of like, uh, and the middle one's going to be slightly smaller. It's difficult to draw this in scale. So uh, the, the logs get placed along here like this. Uh, and then this frame here just holds the logs to cut. It's difficult to draw, but I think I know what I need to do. I've got some threaded bar. And that's 36 centimetres long, so that's enough for me to cut three 12-inch bolts, which will be enough to secure them all together. So I think it's simple 45 job. degree cuts from the previous job, but I think we're going to need to go 30, because 45, if you imagine, oh, 45 will be just too flat. So we want to bring it up like this. So 30 degrees is the first thing to do is to cut a 30 degree joint at the bottom for the feet. Okay, so 30 degrees, let me just show you, that should give us a much easier, so if that's on the floor, look, turn that one around, there we go, these are the shortest ones, um, which we pop in the middle, so as long as the legs are the same size, um, yeah, so that sits nicely on the floors, doesn't it? Like that. There we are. That's what we're aiming for. Next job to do is to cut these all at the same length. 
So we get on with that. Okay, the next job is to cut the holes for this threaded bar. Uh, this is 14 millimeters, and so we've got our 14 millimeter. Where are we? We got our 14 millimeter uh, spade bit in there. So let's just get these drilled. Let's just check the size. We are perfect on that, that's good. And they're all the same distance from the bottom, not from the top. So they should all land the right place. First one is 12. My hands are so cold. Come on, there we are. And the same the other side.
Okay, that's finished. So um, it's just got very cold and it's getting late. So I think we're gonna to have to start the wood cutting tomorrow because I don't wanna be out in the wet using the chainsaw, but we're well prepared and ready to go. So I think this is gonna serve us quite well, actually. I think we've got a fair bit to cut. So I think that's gonna come in really useful. 